Alright, here we are with the... Uh, what part is this? The 8th part of the Kung Fu Cut Man's Adventure. And today, <clears throat> we are only... Yeah, we only have Light Daemon stage left here. Um, for the U-Arm boys there, so yeah. Let's just jump right into it and I have a cough in my throat. And it needs to go, but I'll try and resist it. <clears throat> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, <yeah. coughs> oh, yeah, I could not. I could not resist it. I just had to. But, yeah. Wow, this loads for a long ass time here. Holy. Holy hell, dude. And, yeah, if I remember correctly, I had six E tanks and an M tank here, so, yeah. Let's just collect our old goodies here. And... Huh. Well, I gotta pick this up again. Well, of course I gotta. Let's, let's see here. Yeah. We have everything. And this here is a... Ghost and Goblin stage, almost. <laughs> and yeah, look at this. <clears throat> the ladders are kind of... Kind of supposed to look like trees, I feel like. What? What? <laughs> what the? Huh. Is this a secret? This is very intriguing. Oh. <laughs> that sucks. I really wish there was something hidden up there. <laughs> oh well. Let's see here, these guys are weak to the fairy shot, so I'm just gonna use this. Okay, well, can't quite go there. Yeah, <laughs> the fairy shot is going to be the weapon of our choice here, like tons of Mimiras and Dockruns, and yeah, they are all super weak to it. I mean, the Dockruns, of course, only take one hit either way, but you know. Since we can now angle our shots, I'll still say this is their weakness. Hm. Yeah, so we're just going to... Brutalize this stage, I guess, with this weapon here. We might switch off occasionally. Yeah, we're going to electrocute the birds and burn the zombies. How about that? Hmm. Whoops. Mm. Well, this doesn't look... Too hard. Ouch. Okay, well, as soon as you say that. You know what? We're just gonna do this here. Oh my god. No! We are back. Okay. Now. I'm just going to be very, very patient <clears throat> in this room up here. Seriously, just gonna be incredibly patient. And just do it the way it's supposed to be done. Or maybe not. Maybe I will do this the impatient way. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm glad I did it the impatient way. Can we... Okay, yeah, no, they... They covered up the ceiling here, so we cannot... Can't quite cheap it out. And... Equip the proper weapon here. We. Hmm. I wonder if this is a, a stage, you know, supposedly from the Ghost of Goblin series. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it's from the Super Nintendo one. I haven't played that one. Or well, I have played it, but you know, I haven't finished it, <laughs> basically. And I know very, very little of it. Of course, I haven't finished the Ghost and Goblin for the NES either. <laughs> that one is a stinker too. Alright. But I gotta say that so far, this has been a pretty easy stage. Like... Well, I'm sure that will change. Uh, <laughs> With a hard upcoming mini boss here, that usually have been the case for these here stages, so yeah, I shouldn't really 
I really shouldn't <laughs> celebrate prematurely here. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, these holes are basically only here too. Yeah, lead the Dockers out there. And yeah, here we have Cutman. Okay, well, it's a pretty standard Cutman room here, so... Yeah, we can actually... Okay, well... I'm going to do this. <laughs> you know what? This is kind of boring. Let's... Let's get him out of there. <laughs> it does become a little bit harder, though, to fight with the cutter. Since you can't fire very fast at him. Yeah. You can also see refuge up there, I guess. Oh, yo, yo. Oh, my. Okay, you know what? This room actually makes him pretty tricky to fight. Let's not die here. That would be. So bad. <laughs> Yeah, I really want... I really want the checkpoint. I don't want to do that whole stretch over again. And thank god for that big health there. Thank god. Oh, you know what? Oh, okay. I'm a little bit scared, I gotta admit. No. Yes! <laughs> Holy cow, that was so, so close. Whew. Okay, well, I'm feeling a lot better now here. Yes, but I really, really, really hope we get a checkpoint here soon. <laughs> Can we freeze this guy there? Yeah, that works out nicely. Oh, yeah, and that's another nice tip there if you like. Do the uh, best boost backwards and then jump over the crushes afterwards, then you yeah, can clear them very easily. It's a nice little trick there that I learned recently. Whoa, okay. And yeah, this weapon here works surprisingly well. Uh, I gotta say. There you go, cutter. Cutter activate, and now we're on full health all of a sudden. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> definitely, sh bleh, definitely should have jumped that there. Definitely should have. But yeah, very dark and broody level here. Nothing too dangerous though, and like, obviously our main gimmicks are the presses here, which, I mean, I'm not a big fan of the presses, I don't think many people are, <laughs> you know, since they make you wait and all of that, but I'm not saying that like as a criticism towards the stage, you know, I'm just saying, yeah, I feel like, I feel like the presses kind of gets the bad rap that the Yoku blocks get off in cases like, they are scary to deal with, and so many people don't like them. Uh, but the presses, they are, you know, they deal a lot of damage, and yeah. They usually slow down progress. I guess the same thing could be said about the open blocks. <laughs> you know, the whole slowing down progress part there. And yeah, I'm probably going to croak here any minute now. <clears throat> At the very least, it's nice when we have, like, how should I put it, when the lifts have little indentations, is that the right word? So that you can easily jump over them, that way progress can be made faster, and yeah, that was really bad of me. And look where we are. <laughs> dang it, man. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Well, I think we'll just cut back here because, yeah, I gotta retract very, very long. 
or very far. Whatever. <laughs> See you back there. Okay, we are back again. Now, let's not fail. But I am. Dang it! <laughs> But I'm at such low health though, that is a big problem here. A very big problem, so... Here's what we're gonna do. Oh my god, CT almost screwed me over there. Yeah, we're just gonna jump up here. Destroy this guy. And yeah, that, that it was as easy as that. Hmm. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. You're not killing me again. <laughs> No siree. I might have to use an E-Tank here. I really do might want to. Maybe... Uh, I'm debating sitting like under one of these and farm with the Pharaoh shot, but then again, we might be very close to the end and yeah, that might happen as well. And wow, okay. Wow, just, <laughs> just wow. Uh, how lucky can I get sometimes? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus. Look at that! We have the boss, and... Do not... Do not fail me now! <laughs> there we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Very nice. And it's Nightman. And Nightman is actually one of the bosses that I'm kind of happy to have the cutter since it hits him in the neck. If that makes any sense, you know, it gets him on the rebound there. You know, it's funny to <laughs> actually have a boss where the cutter actually might come in more handy than the regular buster. As long as you don't have the chargeable buster then, like, that would still be better against bosses, but, you know, I still would say this is better than the regular pea shooter. Yeah, this is pretty cool boss from here with Nightman, I gotta say. It works pretty well since he has to jump here, it seems like. Yeah. Very interesting. And I can't quite hurt him from there. We gotta get in a better position. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't even go in here with full health, and I'm still doing. Yeah. I'm still doing great here. As long as you don't take hits from the maze there, I guess I'll be fine. Oh wow, and yeah, that's what he should have done a long time ago. He just walked down on me, you know, just. Don't jump, just walk, Nightmare. Just walk. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. That was close. So, yeah, you definitely can dodge it even when he walks, but yeah, it's like 10 times harder. <laughs> but yeah, we'll keep this a short video as well. I don't have a whole lot of time to record today. Um, I got a lot of work this weekend here, so yeah. I don't have a lot of time to record unfortunately but yeah i wanted to at least get another stage out here for the kung fu cutsman adventure this year weekend so yeah but yeah like all around pretty good stage um the little glitchy part in the beginning i really <laughs> wish we had a secret up there with him and awesome but yeah pretty cool stage overall you know medium difficulty i would say lots of presses they didn't slow me down too much though which was nice and yeah, we had this nice spring dock runs there at the end. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty neat all around. So yeah, I'll just leave it at that. Thank you guys for watching and have a nice day.